Hello, my name is Alika Derek. I'm a general surgeon with extensive training in abdominal transplantation as well. I work here at Zeb Medical. I'm the general surgeon here. I take care of a variety of general surgery complications and procedures. I'm also an expert in facial aesthetics, including Botox and fillers. I see patients in consultation, including English speaking and Hispanic speaking patients. I also speak Farsi. So one of the uh, products we offer here is Botox. Botox is a neuromuscular protein. What this protein does, it blocks the release of a neurotoxin in our muscle and causes basically freezing of the muscle of a short period of time, usually about three to four months. Botox used aesthetically helps minimize wrinkles and minimize the signs of aging associated with the movements of muscles. These areas usually include around the eyes, the forehead, in between the eyebrows, and at times the jawline and the folds alongside your nose. These areas are treated about every three to four months and what this does, it helps the muscles relax, not move as much, hence the skin on top of the muscle does not move as well, and the wrinkles improve over time. The key to Botox is to continue using Botox every three to four months to maintain the level of aesthetic result that you'd like. Botox does not treat you and make you look younger in the sense that you're gonna look 10 years younger. What Botox does, it prevents you from looking older by having more wrinkles or having the signs of aging that progresses with time because your muscles over time tend to sag. Botox is minimally painful. The needle we use is a 30 gauge needle. Uh, it's the smallest needle that exists. Uh, what we can offer to minimize the pain prior to Botox injection is the administration of topical lidocaine but the pain is almost instantaneously gone once the injection is put in. Usually within five to seven days after Botox administration, you start to see the results. It's not immediate. The protein that's injected needs time to work, and usually that's within a five to seven day period. I always tell my patients by two weeks, you should see the complete results, and in that time we'll be able to determine whether or not you need a little bit more to get the results you wish or that's a safe amount that, that you would like to stick to and it's a good gauge to use for your next administration so we know how many units your, your face requires. Uh, so right after Botox, we always recommend that the patient uh, not take any hot showers that day, do not participate in any hot activities or strenuous exercise that will cause the face to sweat a lot or to increase the level of heat it's receiving. No direct heat to the face, essentially, for the first 24 hours. And for the two weeks that ensue, I recommend using sunblock, more than 50 SPF. But many patients that come in for Botox not only have the problem with wrinkles, uh, they also have problems with loss of facial fat or asymmetry in the face. At this time, I always uh, do a consultation with the patient where I recommend certain amount of Botox and also in addition, a filler of the areas where the volume loss has occurred. This combination at times is uh, ideal for the patient who has these two issues going on. I do recommend injection at the same time and uh, the results are immediate in the terms of the filler. You see immediate results and the patient can determine whether or not they want more at the time or less. And then the Botox obviously you see the results within a week. At the two week mark the results are really beautifully synchronized where you see the results of the filler and you see results of the Botox and it's a very nice aesthetic result for the patient and they usually continue with that combination. Uh, the nice thing about the filler is uh, it lasts a lot longer than Botox does. Uh, filler lasts about up to eight months to a year. Uh, so it's not as necessary to do um, uh, when you come back for your Botox, but it is nice to do it together so you can get the maximum aesthetic uh, result that you desire. Actually starting Botox in your late 20s or 30s is what I recommend because the point of Botox is to see the same age that you look for as long as possible so why not look 30 for 10 years and you know you could look 30 when you're 40. Um, I wish I started my own Botox earlier um, but I would recommend usually you know in the late 20s or 30s not a lot of Botox but minimal amount just to keep those areas that tend to wrinkle first wrinkle free as long as you can.